السلام علیکم ویورس ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل پازیٹیو تھاٹس بفور واچنگ دا ویڈیو پلیز سبسکرائب لائک اینڈ شیئر سو دیٹ یو کین گیٹ لیٹسٹ اپ ڈیٹس اباؤٹ مائی چینل سو لیٹس موو ٹوڈ آر ٹاپک ایز آر ٹاپک از کلینیکل سائیکالوجی اینڈ اٹس ہسٹری آئی ہیو ایڈیڈ جسٹ تھرٹی ایم سی کیوز ود دا آنسرز As we all know, it's a very broad topic, so I cannot just sum up all the MCQs or all the information in just one video. So I am going to make some more videos related to this topic. So number one MCQ is who was the founder of first psychological clinic? Leitner Whitmer, psychological clinic at University of Pennsylvania. Thomas Hobbes Clinic in Minnesota University in 1980. Number C Whitmer Clinic in Oxford University 1970 Option number D none of above and the right option is Leitner Whitmer Psychological Clinic at University of Pennsylvania in 1986 Number 2 the term clinic is derived from Greek word klenon which means dash from ancient roots and change its meaning with the passage of time and later on attain its medical connotation Option A rest option b couch or bed option c chair option d none of above and the right option is couch or bed number 3 four bodily humors given by hippocrates are option a white bile yellow bile blue bile or blood option b black bile yellow bile blood phlegm option c black bile brown bile blood a blue bile option d none of above and the right option is black bile yellow bile blood and phlegm number 4 hippocrates used the term hysteria which means option a bizarre thinking of women option b attention seeking behavior of women option c women with vague bodily complaints option d none of above The right option is women with vague bodily complaints. Number 5. Who has defined three levels of personality? Logisticon, thymus and a logisticon, similar to Freud before medieval period. Option A Galen, option B Aristotle, option C Socrates, option D Plato. And the right option is Plato. Number 6 Imbalance in one or more of bodily humors result in psychopathology or mental illness This notion was given by option A Galen option B Hippocrates option C Socrates option D none of above and the right option is Hippocrates Number 7 Select the appropriate meaning of these terms Number 1 logisticon number 2 thymus number 3 a logisticon option a courage and aspiration logic and reason instincts and appetites option b instincts and appetite logic and reason courage and aspiration option c logic and reason courage and aspiration instincts and appetite and option d is ego id and superego So the, all these terms are in the sequence and we have to find out which is the exact sequence mentioned below. So option C is the right answer which means logistic on means logic and reason. Thymus mean courage and aspiration. A logistic on means instincts and appetites. Number 8. Yin yang is a traditional Chinese concept which means Option A religious beliefs cure mental illness option B specific rituals are required for treating mental illness option C imbalance of two parts yin yang result in mental illness option D none of above and the right option is imbalance of two parts yin yang result in mental condition or mental illness number 9 Acupuncture is a or an option A ancient way of meditation to get relief from mental stress option B type of mental process defined by ancient Greeks option C 
Name of traditional surgery used by Chinese culture to treat mental problems. Option D. Process of inserting needles at specific points or energy lines to treat mental conditions. And the right option is process of inserting needles at certain points or energy lines to treat mental conditions. Number 10. Late medieval period is known as period of Option A. Emergence of psychology Option B. Modern science Option C. Demonology Superstitious beliefs Exorcism Option D. None of above and the right option is demonology, superstitious beliefs, and exorcism. Number 11. According to Hippocrates, mania is the condition of Option A. Fever Option B. Happiness Option C. Agitation Option D. Fear And the right answer is agitation. Number 12. Dash period is known as re-emergence of scientific approach for mental illness. Option A. Greek period, B. Medieval period, C. Renaissance period, D. None of above. And the right option is Renaissance period. Number 13. 17th century was labeled as dash and 18th century was known as dash. Option A. Enlightenment era, age of reason. Option B. Age of reason, enlightenment era. Option C. Age of demons, mental disorders. Option D. Mental Disorders, Age of Demons And the right option is 17th century was labeled as Age of Reason And 18th century was labeled as Enlightenment Era Number 14 In Dash century, mental illness was generally accepted as the target of medical profession Option A. 17th century Option B. 18th century Option C. 16th century and option D 19th century the right answer is 18th century number 15 important figures during the Renaissance period was number A Thomas Hobbes and Celsus number B Paracelsus and John Weir number C Cattell and Docks number D none of above and the right option is Paracelsus and John Weir number 16 Dash is the important personality in the early history of psychological testing. Number A. Thomas Hobbes. Number B. Penal. Number C. William Tube. Number D. Sir Francis Galton. The right option is Sir Francis Galton. Option B. Number 17. Patients were kept in asylum during the start of 17th century and their medical condition was poor. Patients were forced to do starvation and spun for recovery. They were fine years. Philip Penel in France and William Tuke in England started a dash movement to treat the patients morally. Number A. Moral movement. Number B. Enlightenment movement. Number C. Reform movement. Number D. Health movement. And the right option is reform movement. Number 18. The most significant figure in 19th century for the development of modern psychiatry is number A. Galton number B. McKean Cattell number C. Emil Kraplin number D. Emile Durkheim and the right option is Emil Kraplin Number 19 Who coined the term mental tests? Number A. Kraplin number B. Francis Galton Number C. James McKean Cattell. Number D. William Tube. The right option is James McKean Cattell. Option number C. Number 20. Who suggested Alfred Binet that score must be evaluated in terms of actual and chronological age to yield stable intelligent quotient? Option A. McKean Cattell. Option B. William Stern. Option C. McKinley. And option D. Galton. The right option is William Stern. Option B. Number 21. American Psychological Association was first professional organization created in United States by option A. William Stern in 1870. Option B. Alfred Binet in 1911. Option C. 
Shakespeare, Janet, 1888. Option D, G. Stanley Hall and six others in 1892. The right option is G. Stanley Hall and six others in 1892. G is the right option. Number 22. During which war Army Alpha and Army Beta tests or group intelligence tests were used for recruitments in Army? Number A. World War I. Number B. World War II. Number C. Post World War II. Number D. None of above. And the right option is Number A. World War I. Num number 23. During DASH, clinical psychology continued to grow on the basis of ethical standards developed by APA and became increasingly diversified in variety of approaches. Number A, 1930s to 1940s. Number B, 1920 to 1930s. Number C, 1910s to 1920. Number C, 1950s to 1960s. And the right option is 1950s to 1960. Number 24. In early part of 18th century, knowledge of Dash increased rapidly and this perspective viewed mental disorder as a disease of central nervous system that is either inherited or caused by brain pathology. Option A. Environmental perspective. Option B. Sociocultural perspective. Option C, biological perspective or biological viewpoint. Option D, cognitive perspective. The right option is biological perspective or biological viewpoint. Number 25, psychic determinism and conscious unconscious dimensions are important concepts of theory of personality that is evolved by option A, Alfred Adler. Option B, Carl Jung. Option C, Freud. Option D, none of above. The right option is Freud. Option C. And the explanation of psychic determinism given by Freud is all mental processes are not spontaneous but are determined by pre-existing mental complexes. Number 26. Who has given early classification of mental disorders on the basis of symptoms and duration, which became the forerunner of today's DSM? Option A. Haller. Option B. Emil Kraplin. Option C. Wilhelm Gresinger. Option D. Jane Charcot. The right option is Emil Kraplin. Option B. Number 27. Who is known as the most influential writer of 20th century? Option A. Freud. Option B. Alfred Edler. Option C. Carl Rogers. Option D. McKean Cattell. The right option is Option A. Freud. Number 28. Leibold and Burnham became interested in the relationship between hysteria and hypnotism and worked for hysterical patients. At that time, physician who accepted this view came to be known as Option A, Hypnotists, Option B, Practitioners, Option C, Nancy School, Option D, Initiators. The right option is Nancy School. As Lee Bolt and Burnham lived in the city of Fans, Nancy, and started practice of hypnotism from Nancy School which later became School of Hypnotism and Psychotherapy due to their contributions. Number 29. Which perspective gave much importance to early childhood experiences in later personality adjustment and maladjustment? Option A. Humanistic perspective. Option B. Cognitive perspective. Option C. Psychodynamic perspective. Option D. Behavioristic perspective. The right option is psychodynamic perspective. Number 30. The role of learning in human behavior, observing the overt behavior along with the application of reinforcement conditions that can be applied objectively or scientifically. All these themes define which perspective? Option A. Cognitive perspective. Option B. Behavioristic perspective. Option C. Humanistic perspective. 
Option D, psychodynamic perspective. The right option is Option B, behavioristic perspective. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have learned a lot from this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.